Hi, I'm Don Owen, and I'm standing here in Cobb Auditorium at Urbana High School. And this video is going to teach you how to tie a bow tie. Now I know, there are a lot of YouTube clips out there on how to tie a bow tie. And I have to admit, I'm not perfect, and I'm probably not going to be the best. But I'm doing this for a great cause. You see, this auditorium that I'm standing in was the home for 35 years to Greg Chu. He taught English, speech, and drama here at Urbana High School. Greg Chu was also instrumental in helping us renovate this auditorium a few years ago. Greg passed away in May of 2014, and one of the things that he wanted to leave to Urbana High School was a scholarship for students who wanted to pursue theater or drama in post-secondary education. So, I decided to help in that cause by holding workshops to teach people how to tie bow ties. Because what better place to wear a bow tie than a grand theater like this? In honor of National Bow Tie Day 2014, August 28th, I held my first annual How to Tie Your Bow Tie workshop as a fundraiser for the Chu Theater Scholarship. If you're watching this video and you'd like to contribute, please contact me at Urbana School District and I will be happy to tell you how you contribute to the Chu Theater Scholarship or other amazing programs that help our students. So, first things first, how to tie a bow tie. Well, even though I love this bow tie, this is a clip-on. It's great, easy, looks fashionable, but you have a lot more pride and confidence when you've tied your own bow tie. So today, I'm gonna demonstrate how to tie a bow tie. Now, these two ties, while they both are very pretty, great colors, they're very different. This one is a traditional butterfly bow tie. This one is either called a straight or a thin bow tie. The traditional is much easier to tie because it's already pre-shaped. It's easy to guide. Personal preference, I like the style of the thin. So I'm gonna be demonstrating with that today. The first thing is, with a tieable bow tie, also called a freestyle, you have to size it to your neck. I tend to size my bow ties about a quarter inch thinner than my neck circumference or my shirt size. It's really personal preference. Now, the first thing that you need to do when you're tying a bow tie is get it lined up around your neck. One side, it doesn't matter which, it's whichever handed you are, is a little bit longer than the other. You take the side that's longer and you cross over the shorter side just about where the tie starts to narrow. You then come underneath and you tighten. This is really the only spot where you get to tighten that much. After you do that, you put the long side away and you use the short side to actually measure up your tie. This is where your bow tie is going to be. Now, what you do next is you just grab your bow tie, you pinch finger and thumb, and you bring the long side down right in the middle of your tie. You see it's already starting to take shape. The next spot's a little tricky. This is where you take the dangling end of your bow tie and you fold it up and you hold on to it and then you take your wings and you pull them out just a little bit and you stick right through that hole you stick this piece through there and you pull now it doesn't look pretty yet but this is where you get to adjust and play and that's the beauty of bow ties is you have a lot of ways to play with the bow tie to make it look nice don't forget to fold your collar down Make sure that both wings are outside. Adjust it again. And there you go. How to tie your bow tie. 